Well, the Mumbles man is on his way over to pick me up. We're going to uh, Gray Matter City first. And then if we don't find much there, we're going to come back here, right out front here. Since we've had all this wind, we got a relatively long slough. I'll give you a picture of it so you can see it. Looks pretty interesting. I like it. Stand by. Rich is putting his shoes on. Path to Gray Matter City. It's cold. I might be a shade underdressed. It's in the 70s. It ain't bad. Don't get me wrong. Well, as you can see, the wind and the tide and the waves have pushed up a lot of sand. I mean, a lot of grass. There's a little meager slough that runs right down through here. Look at that grass that's pushed up here. I'm going to take that as a good sign. Stand by. I see a giant hole over here. Let's go see what that is. Maybe that's a rock. No, no detect person would dig a hole like that. I don't know that I understand all that. There's another hole there. Huh. I don't know. Looks like scoop marks, but I don't see no coil marks. Well, the Mumbles man's already on a ticket of some sort. What do you got there, Mumbles man? Piece of metal or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe off a can, huh? Yeah. Sounded good. We got a 10 and a 12. Kind of scratchy, it might be a can. I mean, it might be a pull tab. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Bottle cap. Are you supposed to find no bottle caps? Got it. Solid 13 now. Five cents, I think. Just what it's supposed to be. Five cents. That's right. Nice ticket. Nice. Knox, I mean. Hey, 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 five cents. Now we keep this little spotted range right through here. We'll see how it goes. Here's a slough. You can see that slough. It's not pronounced anywhere like the one up by my house. And I have a feeling we're going to end up there in a little while. we we'll have to see how that goes. Well, there's that first big hole I showed you that was here. Right here, we've got a solid nine. That could be any damn thing. It also be a piece of aluminum. And it is. Okay. Well, we bug a, a, a copper wire tie, wire thing. This is a 16, but it sounds big. What it is? Might be a false alarm too. Got a little iron grunt around the edge of it. I 
Yes, out of 18 that time. Gone up in numbers. I might have to widen the hole out a little bit. Well, we got it. It's the 19 solid now, it might be a penny. Yep, penny. Cruddy penny, too. Ha! A screeching 24, 26. I mean, loud. Well, we got it. Looks like 10 cent. Just what it's supposed to be, 10 cent. Clad 10 cent. Oh, dumbass, you dropped it. Oh, I can't even find it. Ha, that's pretty good. Okay, we got it again. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Well, you can see I've been going in and out. All the way down to the water's edge, ankle deep, back and forth. I found uh, another piece of copper, a couple more pennies. But I told you there was another hunter here. I see him, you can't see him, he's too far away, but he's right down there. I don't know who it is. Too far away to tell. Stand by. There's a mumbles man. And Richard's behind me. Gray matter. Gray matter from Gray Matter City. I like it. First gray matter. Mid beach. <laughs> we got a solid eight here. I made one scoop and you can see it already. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. These are brand spanking new fishing rigs. Never been used, like five or six of them. I don't know what happened here. This is odd. Maybe maybe a kayak or something turned over here. We have to look around here a little bit more. Never found that many in one pile before brand spanking new. Well, it's kind of scarce. There's the hunter guy I was telling you about. Looks like he's got his family with him, like a family outing. Some kids and so on and so forth. I still haven't got close enough to find out who it is. There's a big old jelly. I haven't seen many jellyfish this year. That's six, seven, twelve. Check it out, see what it is. It sounds pretty good, then it's got some scratchiness on the edge of it. Press eight and nine out of the hole.
looks like a piece of crap to me. Crap that's with a big C too. As in crapo. God. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think it knows what it wants to be. But it's only one scoop deep. That's good. That's not it. That's probably it. Yeah. Looks like a spoon off a of fishing bait. That'd be it. see what Richard's been doing but I got a hit. Sound like a dime. Here's a dime. Ten cent. Now we can see how rich is making that. What's going on over here? Trash. Yeah, I got two dimes, a couple pennies, a sinker, and some fishing lures. I mean, a fishing rig, not lures. I think we're gonna make a move back that way. Yeah. What do you got your sensitivity on? 13, I think, or 14. Maybe 16. I'm on 16. 18, actually. I usually keep it on 13. I don't know why I got it so high. I know you don't remember it, some of y'all might, but from about where I'm standing to the steps, which is the second set of steps there to the right straight ahead, a friend of mine lost his gold ring here after the hurricane. He was sitting in the sand the day before the hurricane with his hands behind his back. And when he pulled his hands out of the sand, his ring flipped off his finger. And the next day the hurricane hit. So he called me up and I looked for it for 10 or 12 days in this area because he knew exactly where it was setting. Never did find it. But I did find six rings, uh, six gold rings in this one block section right here. And I post them all on a thing called the next store, which is a neighborhood thing here. Never found an owner for any of them. Finally, one of my neighbors down the street says, you know, I found a gold ring just sitting on top of the beach the next morning when I walked down there. Well, he knows I've been posting these things on the next door because he sees it every day. Finally, he says, well, do you think this is it? So the guy had a duplicate wing. His wife had the exact same ring that he had, just a smaller size. So I sent him a picture of it. That was it. So my friend was reunited finally with his ring. He's happy. Sometimes things work out just right. Well, we're back at the rancho. We're going to head down to the beach here and check them sloughs out. Well, we're going at the west end of the street, going over this dune. No walkway at this end. This is public. And you'll see some nice sloughs right here. If I get to the top. Huh? 
Eddie didn't do anything yesterday? No, nothing. Ah, made it. Downbound now. You can see the slough from here, but you probably can't make it out as a slough, but it is a deep ravine type. About a hundred yards to the left is where I found that Lady D ring, you know, Easter Sunday two years ago when I first got the Knox 800 with the diamonds and the emerald. Was it an emerald? Blue. What it was blue? Yeah, emerald. That's a nice little ring. And the grass is up here too. Okay. The slough gets better as you go towards my house, which is, you know, three, three blocks east. And here's where it starts. Actually, there's two sloughs. You see, there's another one down there. That's it's just the other side of that white boat. That's a fisherman down there fishing in the nets. Oh, is that your buddy there? Uh... No, that's another guy. That's. And we've got a little deep little slough right through here. I don't know if we'll find anything, but it looks better than where we were. Stand by. Uh-oh, hit. 30, 31. A quarter, I think, or supposed to be. Don't have to be in China. We got it, though. I see it. 25 cent. Quarter. Quarter. A 10. Like crap to me. And crap it is. You remember the other day we went fishing, we caught an electric toad? Well, right there. There's a tin. A tin. Watch this. I already dug him up once. <laughs> he got them cells in his head. He'll give you a shock if you reach down there and grab him. All right, get back in the hole, boy. Yeah, that's right. You get get in there. Get in that hole. Come on. There you go. Arr. Now put some sand on you. Let me move you out to some deeper water. Now you can go. I can't leave you around. A seagull will get you. There you go. Get in that hole. Ha. Get in there, boy. There you go. Look at him. He'd be out of sight in five minutes. <laughs> no seagull will find him. Electric toad. Stargazer. That's a better name for him. A stargazer. He was a sun gazer today when I dug him out. Uh-oh.
17, 14, 17. I ain't expecting much here. But it beats the Stargazer. Maybe. We got it. Still reading 17. Now we got it. Let's go see what a 17 is. I don't see no knockout gold ring, so I know it's not that. I actually don't see anything. It says we got it. Whatever it is, it must be tiny. That's not unusual. I don't see anything. It must be really tiny. Oh hell, it must have fell out as a piece of damn aluminum. Look at that. That wasn't very tiny. Off we go. A six, three, four. Hey, it's Bowser. Hey, Bowser. That might be the best of it right there. Whatever this is, it's kind of big. Oh, maybe not. We got it. It ain't very big at all. Now it ain't. That's really strange right there, how little that thing got sounded big. Just some piece of junk. Crap, aluminum or something. Well, we moved up to the upper slough. It says this is a 15. It starts right here, goes way over to there. I think it's going to stay right there. So it gets kind of deep right there. As you see where the mumbles man is down that way. It gets wider down there by the entrance way to my house. There's death on the beach today too, Comorant. D-E-A-D. -E Look at that, 13. Knox says stop right here. Gray matter. Gray matter number two. A whole bunch of crap on it too. Another leader like rig. 
Okay, two ounces of gray matter. Up high too. Kind of up high. There's the dew line. There's a water line. There's a mumbles man. And you can see the sloughs are getting ready to start back up right here. About a block from my entrance way. And I don't guess you can see that fishing boat. That's the guy who has a net. He's down there too. But we're not going to go that far, I don't think. Not unless it really picks up. Well, well, I just dug a solid 21. Really loud 21 right from this hole here. I thought it was a penny. And I don't know what it is, but you can see it right there shining. I think you can see it right there. See it? Whatever it is, it's loud and shiny. Oh, it's a thing off a Hobie Cat. A block. A swivel. Uh, what the hell you call it? Uh, not a pulley. You know what I mean. Solid 14. I see it. It's a red pull tab. Or a red one. Things are looking up. We've got another gray matter too. Like four ounces. Maybe three. Pyramid. Mumbles, man. He's way ahead of me. I don't know how he's making that. I can't even see him hardly. A lot of iron in here too. But you can see the slough is continues. Looks better up that way. Five scoops deep. I was wondering how long it was going to take. But we finally found a bottle cap. And it's a rusty one too, buddy. Five scoop deep. Isn't that a fine ticket? This Knox is okay now, I think, with this new upgrade. This piece is loaded with bottle caps. But not deep, not rusty ones. Check this ticket out. Well, I got half of it. But it's the right half. I'll have to dig around in there and see if there's any more of it in there. It was just a barely a signal since we broke, you know. Well, I hunted and hunted and hunted. I made the hole big. I never found another piece of that ring. You see it's right on the edge of that slough. I dug a piece of aluminum right there. I'm going back that way. There's a mumbles man right there. I ain't going much further than him, I'll turn around. A eight. A eight is the best of it. Now it's a little scratchy. Minus one, two, and a ten, and an eight. I bet this is a fine ticket. Might be another, might be bottle cap number two. Well, I don't see anything. So it must be a little, uh, a bottle cap. I see something shiny right there. That's not it. 
got it, whatever it is. Well, it really is teeny. Uh, that's a third one of those I got. How you making that, Mama's man? All I know is you must have a handful of quarters. Oh, I got one. Really? Gee, I just picked up like six or seven from up high. Yeah. I see you digging here all this time. I got a dime and a, and a couple pennies, and wow. I got a piece. I got half a ring right there. See that hole? Yeah. Half a ring. Half a gold ring. No kidding. With a blue stone in it. I want you to go back over there and we'll swing back over that hole, see if you can pick it up any more of it. Right. I found two sinkers. I found one sinker. I got four dimes and about five or six quarters. Yep, that's cool, right? It was kind of scratchy, you know, since it was broke. Yeah. Well, here's a roundup. One quarter, three dimes, one nickel. I don't know, it's about seven or eight pennies. One bottle cap. A bunch of fishing rigs. One gray matter, two gray matters, three gray matters, four gray matters. No marks. Must be 24K then. Screw, a nail, and I don't know, a piece of wire or something. Stainless steel pin from a Hobie Cat or similar. That's it. Except the best of it might be this right here. These two packages. There they are. For those of you who don't know what these are, and I was one of those people, my buddy Denny gave them to me. I had to call him up. I said, Mumbles man, what the world are these things right here? They look cool, but I got no idea what they do. This, this does not screw into there. It just sits in there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what this is. This is the coolest thing in the world right here. Denny and I both have Honda generators. I have one for the gun show, knife show. He has one for the hurricanes. This screws into the oil plug to drain the oil out of your Honda generator so you don't have no mess. Screws right in, oil drains right here into a bucket. This is a new super duper cool oil plug plug with an earth magnet at the end of it. Now how cool is that? That's the coolest two tickets I've ever seen. An oil drain plug and a plug with an earth magnet in it for the oil plug. I'll put them in tomorrow and show you where to go. Or well, maybe the next day. But I think you already know. I can't pull One's just a temporary one and one's permanent. That's pretty cool right there. Okay, thank you, Mama's man. I gotta run. I gotta feed the critters. I just played ball and Jack says, I'm starving to death. And the boo-boo is right there with Jack. They got a tussle the other day. They got he got too close to Jack's food. Jack grabbed him and shook him like a raccoon for about three seconds, throwed him up against the refrigerator. But it don't seem to bother him, and he's right back here again. Ain't he big old Jack? He is, he is. He's your buddy, ain't he? You got it. Give him a kiss.